Hi everyone, it's Kelly from Kelly's Beak Boutique. So today I'm going to show you how to take my love of leather and my love of knots and create a fabulous necklace. If you want to see how I do it, come and join me. Okay, so to create my, what I'm calling the knotted hippie necklace, I have a tassel. I have one of these antique silver uh, bally style barrel beads. I have a little tube to make my barrel knots. I have some assorted little beads for embellishment. I also have two aught check glass beads. So these ones are a little bit larger and they have a nice big hole, which is great because we're gonna be using some two millimeter leather. So I have two meters of two millimeter leather and wire I'm going to be using some 20 gauge uh, titanium wire and this is just a really nice craft wire that we use in the store and for the tools I'm going to be using my four regular tools and I'll make sure to leave a link below on how to use all of these different tools so let's get started so the first thing that I want to do is create my little link at the bottom with my tassel so I'm going to cut off about six inches of my wire And I just wanna make sure that that's as straight as possible. So I take my chain nose pliers at the top and I just run my fingers down. I don't wanna do that too much because it will harden up the wire. Okay, so I'm gonna make a little loop in the bottom. So I'm gonna place my pliers about an inch and a half down. I'm gonna make a little sharp bend. I'm gonna use my round nose pliers and I'm only gonna go about a third of the way up. I'm gonna go up, over, and down. Open my pliers and rotate them and pull that tail straight to the back. Now I'm gonna run it through the end of the tassel. And usually what I do is I just kind of open it up before I get it through the loop on the end there. And this one can be a little tricky, so you sometimes have to jockey that into position. Now I'm gonna take my chain nose pliers and I wanna place it right over top of this loop because I wanna have that loop as nice, nice and neat as possible. And I'm gonna take my bent chain nose pliers and grab the end of that and do that up nice and tight. And I'm just going to do a couple loops on that. I don't want to have um, a lot on there. So just do that up like that. And I'm going to then come in with the flush side. So I'm going to turn that over and give that a little trim. Now I'm going to take the chain nose pliers and I'm going to tuck that little burr down a bit there. Just give it a little, little squish down. It just kind of neatens it up and gets rid of any sharp edges. Now I'm going to place on one of these little hex beads. And the reason I'm using that is these barrel beads have a bit of a large hole. And if I didn't use that, what we'd end up with is this situation. And I see this a lot when people are making jewelry and they wonder why they've got a little gap there. And I'll just show you what happens. So you see how that will go right over top of that. And when you do your other side, it's gonna float back and forth to the, do the same thing. So you wanna make sure that you're filling up that little hole. So these little tear cast hex beads are perfect for that. They just kind of take up that little bit of a, a hole there and stops our wrapped loops from flipping around. Okay, so now I wanna make another wrapped loop on the other side. So I wanna push that down to make sure it's, there's no slack in there. I'm going to bend away and then come in and make another wrapped loop like I did before. So up and over and down, rotate my plier. And then I just try to make sure that that's a nice little sort of lollipop. And I'm just gonna wrap that up. Just go around a couple times there. And give that a little trim. Then I'm gonna come in and tuck that little burr down. But I wanna make sure I don't crush that little hex bead, so I'm just gonna come up just a little bit on the other side there. There we go, so now we have our little link all ready to go as I'm building the necklace. Okay, so now I have two meters of leather. So the first thing I wanna do is find my center of the leather. So I'm just gonna get these two on the end, put together, and I'm gonna find the center of my leather. So I've given you lots of leather here. If you wanna make a little bit of a shorter necklace, you can do some trimming at the end, but we're gonna start with a little bit of a longer length so that you can adjust this. Okay, so I've got my center. So this is where I'm gonna make my very first barrel knot. So what I do is I just find the center and I sort of just mark it with my thumb and that's where I'm gonna place my first little barrel knot. So I'm gonna take my tube and place it on top of my leather, and I'm working with my right hand. If you're left-handed, then just do it the opposite way. So I'm gonna be wrapping around, and I'm working towards my left hand. So I'm gonna go once, twice, 
three times. So you can see I've got one that sort of goes that way and then two nice little wraps. So now I'm going to take the end that I was working with and I'm going to place it through the back end of this little tube and the tube will be included in this kit. I get lots of questions about the tubes. We do sell them on the website and I'll put a link below. So you can see I'm still holding on to that knot. I don't want to let go because then the whole thing will just fall all over the place. So now you can see it. I've taken my thumb away and I'm just going to place my thumb behind it and that just stops it from moving around. So I want to tighten it up and you can see I've got three nice little wraps there. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to start doing is placing my pattern on. Now if you can't get this through, what you can do is take a pair of cutters or scissors and just go on a little bit of an angle and that will help. So I'm going to put on one of my red Picasso, one of the black Picasso, and another red Picasso and that's going to be my pattern. So I'm going to bring that down. Now I have to make a barrel knot on that side. So I place my tube on top I go around once, twice, three times, again always working towards my left hand, take that end, put it through the tube, hold on to my knot, pull the tube off, and pull that through. Now I want to make sure before I tighten it up that I know where I'm going, so I want to just gently move this back with my thumbs. I get it just gently pulled in make sure it's all nice and neat and then I give it a good tug. Now you can see we've got our first little section of barrel knots. So now I'm going to place one of my little spacers on and I'm going to do another barrel knot on the other side of that spacer. So again I'm just going to place my tube on top here and go around once, twice, three times and always make sure that you go through the back end of your tube. If you have a little piece of leather over top of your three little wraps, then you've gone the wrong way. Okay, I'm going to tighten that up. There we go. There's our next little section. And now I'm going to start my pattern again. So I've gonna, I'm going to use my red, my black, and my red. And we'll have a few different color combinations in this, and I'll make sure to list those in the kit. Alright, so now we're going to go once, twice, three times. And once you get used to making these, you can make them pretty fast. I slow down a lot for <laughs> the tutorial so that you guys know what I'm doing, but I can crank these out pretty darn fast. And the nice thing about the tube is it really helps you have uh, greater success. You don't have as many failures with your little knots. So there you go. Now I'm going to put on one last little spacer. Do my three wraps. Make sure to go through the back side of my tube. Hold on to the knot, pull the tube out, and then pull the rest of my cording out. Make sure that I move it down before I tighten it up. And then we're going to put on our last little section here. So I've got my red, my black, and my red. And now I'm going to do my last barrel knot. So go around once, twice, three times. Go through the back side, pull that through, and then make sure that that's moved down before you really tighten it up. So there we go. There's our one completed side. So now what I want to do is take one of my little spacers and my little tassel and another spacer and run those down. And I'm putting this on the other side of the leather on the piece that we haven't used. Now you can see how that's going to line up on there and now I'm going to make a barrel knot on this side. So I'm going to place my tube on once, twice, three times. I've got a long piece here now. And this is creating almost like a little bail in the leather. Let's pull that up and get it nice and snug. 
and now you can see that we've got that sandwiched in there. So now I'm going to just repeat this pattern on the other side. I'm going to put my uh, check glass beads on and then my spacer and check glass, spacer and check glass and I'm going to repeat the same pattern on this side and then I'll be right back with you. Okay so you can see I've completed both sides. Now one of the things that I like to do is I like to take it and kind of match them up and then give it just a little bit of a tug and what that does is it helps create a little bit more of a sort of a loose uh, suppleness in there and it'll give it a bit more of a flow. So now the ending that I'm going to use is one of my sliding knots. Now that's been my most popular video and I'm going to try and uh, do a better view on this one than I did on the first one. So we'll see how this one goes. So the first thing I want to do is match up my ends and make sure they're about the same and they're pretty close but what I want to do is come in and give that a little bit of a trim. Now this is the point if you want to make yours a little bit shorter that you can. Um, this will give you a really nice long length but it, you can adjust it to shorter or longer which is the great thing about sliding knots. Okay, so to create my sliding knots I am going to use a ruler. So I'm going to create this one a little bit different than my other sliding knot only in that I'm going to make it a little bit longer. So I'm going to place this on my ruler at the 5 inch mark. So now I'm going to pull that back and create like a little loop. Now I'm going to take my other end and I'm going to mark that at the 5 inch mark. So now I've got a little bit of a length there. So I'm now going to take this piece and I'm going to put it underneath and in the middle. So now it looks like I've got three pieces. I've got my original one coming around this way and then I've got the new one that I just added and you can see that they're all about the same length there and th it doesn't matter if they're perfect. Okay so now I've got my little piece there. That's the one coming in the middle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this innermost one and you can see I just take my finger and I sort of flip it around to the back. So now what I want to do is I want to work towards my right hand and I'm going to loop that around. So I'm going to come towards me and go around once and twice and three times. And again it's a little hard to see but I'm always just working towards my, myself here going around to my right. So now I want to take the end of this and I want to go down through that loop. So I'm going to just take that and pop it down and then I'm going to grab hold of that end and now it's kind of a push-pull thing. I'm going to push with my thumb and pull with my right hand and just kind of adjust as you go. It's a really good idea to keep hold of this knot. You don't want to really let go of it too much. You've got to keep control of it. There we go and if anything gets kind of crossed over just adjust it. So there you go. That's what we want to have there. Okay so to start my second side what I'm going to do is pull my leather out till I get double what I had before. So we started with a 5 inch measurement. So I want to go to about a 10 inch. That's a little much so I'll just pull back. So I'm going to measure 10 inches and then I want to take it at the 5 inch mark and that's where I'm going to make my little bend. And the reason that what I want to do that is I want to have these on equal sides. If I um, just did it over here then I'd have my knots all over on one side. So this will help keep you uh, measured correctly. Okay so I'm now going to make my little bend here. And now this ends up looking like those three pieces again but it's actually just one piece over top of the main piece here. So I've got my main piece of leather down in the middle and then I'm bending that over top. So hopefully you can see that. So I'm going to lift it up with my left hand side so you can see that loop. So I have my main piece in the middle and then I've got this one over top. So now I'm just going to create the same thing. So I grab hold of it with my right thumb and first finger here. Now I'm going to flip that around to the back and now I'm going to start working towards my right hand. So I go around one time and then I kind of grab it with my fingers and I want to make sure I'm going on the right hand side of that first loop. So there's my second loop and it's, <laughs> it's hard to do this and do it on camera and <laughs> make it all look perfect. Okay so now I've got my little tail and I always want to make sure that that tail goes down. If you pull it up it's not going to work. If you can't um, push it down, sometimes I'll take my pair of pliers and, and pull up or kind of come up. Let me grab a pair here. I'll sometimes I'll come up like this and grab hold of it. It'll make it a little bit easier to pop it through. Okay, so now I want to grab hold of the end of that that I just put through and I want to make sure that when I'm pulling this tight that nothing's like none of these are popping up over top of each other. They're all laying nice and tight next to each other. So once you have them exactly where you want them then I pull on it and make it really nice and tight. So I'm pulling on one end and then pulling on the other. So these need to be really snug so that they don't go anywhere. Okay so get that nice and tight 
and now you can come in and just trim that off. You could put a little embellishment on the end, but I never bother. So I'm going to trim off the other side. And there you go. Now you can see we've got our sliding knots so I can pull them together. And then I can make my necklace shorter if I want to. So that's a really nice little feature. So there you go. There's our knotted hippie necklace with the sliding knot closure. I hope you guys really enjoyed this one. I hope you love making barrel knots as much as I do. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give me a thumbs up. Please leave me a comment. I love to hear from everybody. And if you haven't done so, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. So thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.